Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea if you're new and welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> I'm tired. It is freaking six o'clock, five fifty-seven. Might as well say six. I have to upload my video in three minutes. But anyways, that this video isn't about that. We are going to New York. I've been wanting to go to New York. I had plans on going to New York last year for the new year. So when a ball dropped and it was going to be 2021, I wanted to be in New York, but. I wanted the whole shebang, you know, New York vibe, but coronavirus happened, so I didn't go. Here we are, a year later, February, and I was just laying in the bed one day, and I was like, I'm going to New York, period. So, Dion and I are going to New York. Sorry, y'all, I keep moving. I'm holding the camera with my hand because I love my stick at Kiara's house, but we're going to New York on Friday. So, we're going to be there from Friday till Monday. So, I need to pack up my stuff. And I thought, hey, why not? Let's pack together. Um, The weather is a little bit on and off. One minute it says it's going to snow. The next minute it says it's going to rain. The next minute it says it's regular. So, one thing that stays consistent throughout all of this is that it's going to be a little bit chilly. So, I need to. I didn't necessarily buy any clothes for this trip because I got a lot of clothes. I can figure something out. I have some stuff sitting on my floor. So we are just going to see what all I got, see what all I want to take, and get started. I don't really have a itinerary of theme of like how everything is going to go. Me, when it comes to trips, especially trips with my boyfriend, we're kind of just go with the flow. You know, we get each other. So, I have a bucket list of things I want to do. Like, he wants to for sure eat a Philly cheesesteak. I want to for sure eat pizza. I want to ride the subway. I want to see a rat. Like, I want to take a picture of a rat for my New York photo dump, period. So, yeah. It's just like some little things I want to do um, that I for sure want to do. So, and I want to take some cute pictures. I want to take a picture in the middle of the street. Like, yeah. So, we're going to pack our stuff up and just get ready to go to New York. I'm so excited. This is my first time ever going to New York. Make sure you're subscribed if you aren't subscribed because a New York vlog will be coming shortly after you see this. I'm so excited. And, yeah, let's pack. I told y'all there was stuff all on the floor. Um... We're about to get this thing figured out. We're not going to be there a lot of days, so I really don't need a lot of outfits. But I like to get content for Instagram, so I always take more than what I need. So, like I said, I don't know exactly what we are doing. So, I'm just going to pack up, you know, a few outfits. So, I came up with this cute little outfit. This is like a shacket. And make sure you follow me on Instagram so y'all can see the looks on the ground. But this is like a jacket that I'm going to wear as a jacket. And then I got this. I tried the stuff on. That's why it's all flipped. Any kind of way. But I'm going to wear it with this. Um, ribbed cream turtleneck. Babe, please don't forget to pack the um, lint brush. With these black pants. So it's going to be like a real chill, like, you know, maybe go to lunch type outfit or something. Usually don't even fold my clothes when I'm packing, y'all. To be honest, I just be putting everything in there. But my boyfriend and I are going to try to share a suitcase. Most of his stuff, y'all know men, most men don't really be doing all that. So most of his stuff might fit on the free, um, the free carry-on bag. We're flying through JetBlue, so you do have to pay for checked bags. That outfit, I'm going to carry this fanny pack that I got from H&M. And I'm going to wear these combat boots, so cute, that I got from Ego Official. My shoes go on this side of my luggage because it's able to zip up. That way the shoes can be on one side away from all the clothes and stuff. 
I'm really excited about this next outfit because it's so cute and I just feel like it's so New York. So I got these loafer type shoes. If you watch my um, luxury wish list, then you would know I wanted these shoes, but I wanted the Gucci ones. They were sold out everywhere. So I found these on ASOS. They look identical to the Gucci ones, just way cheaper. So got these, they're super cute. These black slacks that I found at Target, really cute. Get out of my clothes, Roscoe. Oh my goodness, his nail is caught to my sweater. He, he just fixed it, but he put it back on there. I don't... He did it again! <sighs> Alright, y'all. So, some slacks that I found at Target. A black turtleneck. Walmart has the best, softest black turtlenecks, period. They don't get dingy. I love them. The brand is um, Time and True. They make the best turtlenecks and then this little situation thingy I got this from um she and y'all can't really see what it is but follow me on Instagram and you'll be able to see and then the bag I'm going to carry with that is this this cute little forever 21 bag I'm also going to wear my Gucci belt with that outfit but my Gucci belt is getting packed in my carry-on because she was expensive I ain't trying to get her stolen or lost so yeah, I'm going to pack that in my carry-on. I'm also going to take this, um, what is this? This is a trench coat, but I have a vision in my head of wearing this in the street in the middle of New York with my Balenciagas and my Gucci belt and, you know, real cute outfit. So hopefully I can get that. You can see, I love wearing black. Um, I'm taking my leather well pleather jacket i got this from asos and i'm wearing this jacket with black long turtleneck dress that i got from shein it's real long real cute this outfit me and my boyfriend have matching like sherpa outfits i found his at um where did I find his at? I found it at Forever 21. And I found mine at Fashion Nova. I'm talking about his stuff got to go in here, y'all. The suitcase is full. Look at this. But I know this is not 50 pounds yet, so we good. And the cute little purse that goes with it. Gotta have a purse. Maybe the purse make it hit, hit, hit. This is my own, um, one of my carry-on bags. So it's pretty big. I got this from Pink. So it'll be able to fit um a lot of stuff in it as well. So let's move on to like toiletries and stuff like that. I'll probably finish the clothes, speed through it, play some music over it. You know the vibes. All right, so I like to put all of my toiletries in this little bag. It's kind of like a little vanity case I got years ago from Victoria's Secret. It holds everything I need it to hold. So this portion of the video is going to be sponsored by Dossier. I am going to be telling you guys about some perfumes that I got that I'm going to be taking on my trip with me because I've said this so many times and I think you guys should do it because I do it and it's just easier, safer. So I don't like to travel with my very expensive perfumes. I have $300 perfumes. If that breaks, my heart breaks. So to be safe, you can get um, different alternatives like Dossier, the perfumes still smell like the brand name perfumes, but they are way, way cheaper. So if it breaks, you know you're not as mad as you would be if your $300 perfume broke. So I got three different perfumes to share with you guys. If you've never heard of Dossier, Dossier is a fair alternative to luxury perfumes. You are able to get all your favorite perfumes for not even a fraction of the cost like some of these perfumes are $29 you cannot beat that I got two perfumes for me one for my boyfriend because he'll be traveling with me and I don't want him to take his important stuff too so I just you know not important stuff but the expensive stuff so I got him some scents too um 
I love Dossier. Dossier is very easy to maneuver. The website is very, very easy to work. Um, they have a women's option, a men's option, option, and a unisex option. So whatever you're looking for, you're able to find it on the site. Like seriously, who don't want to save money? I absolutely love Dossier. So let's just get into the perfumes that I'll be taking to New York with me. So like I told y'all about the first one, it is based on a $300 perfume. It looks like this. On Dossier, you'll be able to get this perfume for $49. Yes, you heard right, only $49. Now hold on real quick. I'm gonna go get the real thing and we're gonna smell them side by side. Hold on. Okay, so I have both perfumes right here. I'm going to spray the real one on the front of this paper. Really good. Kind of want to put it on my body. Smells good. And I'm going to spray Dossier on the back of the paper. And I love the way this perfume misses out. Like, let me see if I can get it on camera. I love the mist of the perfume. Mm. They smell so similar, like no kissy. I can't make this up. Definitely will be wearing this one more often than I'm wearing my real one because it's expensive. If I can get something that smells just like it for a cheaper price, why wouldn't I? So this will be getting packed in my toiletry bag. The next one that I got is for my boyfriend. It is based on, inspired by Cree Avengers. Oh, I didn't even tell you the name of this one. This one is called Ambery Chiffon. So if you're looking for it, it's called Ambery Chiffon. The next one is called Musky Oak Moss. And like I said, it's based on Cree Avengers. I've never smelled this cologne before, so I'll just tell you what I think about this one. Mmm, it smells good. I can smell it out the um. Mmm. That smells so good. You like this, babe? Smell it. it smells good. Yeah. Mm. It's like a it don't, it's not it got a little citrus to it. Let's read the notes. The notes say it is apple, pineapple, and bergamot. Middle notes are rose, patchouli, and breech leaf. And then the base notes is amber, musk, and oak moss. I really like this though. It smells good. And y'all, the one I'm most, most, most excited about, I already smelled this, so I can already tell you, is dead on, is this one. This is another... $350 perfume. This is inspired by a Tom Ford perfume called Lost Cherry. I went to the mall one day, I smelled Lost Cherry, but I just could not get myself to buy a $350 perfume. So when I checked Dossier and I seen they had this, I was like, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. This smells so good, y'all. It smells identical to Tom Ford. It is a fragrance that's super duper sweet. So this may not be for everybody, but this, this, with this together, the Amber Chiffon smells so good. Oof, I'm telling you. So the notes in this is cherry, almond, and cinnamon, cloves, rose, jasmine, tonka bean, and vanilla. So yeah, these are all the perfumes and colognes I have this time to share with you guys. Definitely make sure you check out Dossier. I love their brand. Super affordable, super dependable, super reliable brand that's going to deliver A1 quality products each and every time. Make sure you check them out. Links will be in the description box. And let's get into the rest of the stuff I'm packing in my toiletry bag. So I'm taking... Let me put the camera down so y'all can see. So y'all don't clock my bag. I used to once upon a time use this as a makeup bag. So yeah. But let's put our perfumes and colognes in there. Deodorant. Everything's not going to get packed in here right now because we do have a few days before we leave. And like my face wash, stuff like that, I still need. I love traveling with a room spray. This is so important. Like if you go to the bathroom or I don't know why it's not focusing. Hold on. So this one is 
Mah mahogany teak wood. I'm not sure why it's not focusing, but yeah, this is just a room spray to make the room smell good. Sometimes the rooms be smelling like cigarettes. Don't know why, but for use in the bathroom, whatever the case may be, always travel with one of those. I always, always, always have to travel with some um what are these called ear cleaners i forgot the name of them because i love to clean my ears we got some tizer hand sanitizer the lint brush just in case dion forget i'm going to pack it and um makeup removal wipes dion put these in my sock for christmas and i'm so glad he did because this is something that i would never spend my own money on but i need so i'm gonna grab a few of these because they are expensive first of all this is brand name neutrogena and I don't like, you know, I'm, I'm equate. So I'm going to take eight of them. That's three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> eight. I probably won't need all these, but better be safe than sorry. So yeah, this is everything I'm going to pack in my toiletries bag right now. Closer to the trip, I'll put the, hold on. So closer to the trip, I'll pack the toothpaste, mouthwash, um, face wash, toner, different type of stuff but for now that's all i'm gonna put in there and actually i think we're going to finish up this packing tomorrow because the other things i have to pack is like um accessories Underwear. yeah like lounge clothes panties stuff like that and then makeup and i can't pack that stuff until like closer to the trip so i'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys so it's been a few days and i'm back we leave in the morning and I feel like I got so much to pack. I'm at my desk area. I really meant to go get another freaking toothbrush so I don't have to take my man toothbrush, but I forgot. So here we are. What did I just knock over? Here we are. Um. I'm going to pack my face wash. I take this one with me all the time. My Urban Skin RX. I already got my makeup remover wipes. I'm going to take. This is really all I'm going to take. Just this. And I might, I'm going to take this too because this helps um, take my makeup off as well. When I'm out of town, I usually don't take all my skincare stuff because i'm not going that long so my skin will be all right i'm not gonna take all the moisturizers and the serums and all that extra stuff but just take me a face wash my toothbrush toothpaste but i'm gonna just pack my toothbrush and my toothpaste on my carry-on since i need it for obviously in the morning so this is gonna go in my little toiletries bag and i put soap in there too but i didn't show y'all that and soap So this is the bag I use for my makeup. It's pretty cool. Um, I got it from Victoria's Secret. Don't mind how dirty it is, child. Just don't mind it. But it looks like this. It's really cool. You just put all your makeup in there. You got your stuff back, boy. Yep. Look at you. So what's all in there? Most of God, the bottom is like packed. Like what's all in there? All my clothes. Clothes and shoes. No shoes, all that stuff, you know, I can't get nothing else in that thing. You got night clothes, boxes? So in the first compartment, I like to put like my makeup brushes. Girl, it's getting late. It's nine o'clock. I had to come up out of that wig because, mm -mm. but I got all of my like makeup stuff packed up: concealers, um, powders, foundations, lip products. Everything I need fits in there. Got it all packed, y'all. 
Yeah, I think I already packed deodorant and stuff. We got carry-on packed, suitcase packed. A lot of stuff packed. Most of the everything done. Now I just need to take a shower. I'm tired and straighten my room back up. So that is the suitcase and the carry-on. Um. How your stuff fit in one bag and I need I did it three. Really, I did it really nice to neat. <sighs> so I sense ugh, I'm so tired. So since everything is packed, I'm guessing this video is about over. Um I hope y'all enjoyed it. I really don't know how long this video is going to be, especially since I broke it up into two days. I don't know what all footage I got, but Next time you see us, we will be in New York. I hope you guys are having a great day, night, whatever it is. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm so tired. I feel like I'm just blah, 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 blah. You adding more stuff? I'm sauce. <laughs> I, fun fact, I don't like flying. I don't like flying because I I'm love a, it. I don't. I am an overpacker and it just it just drives me crazy. The reason why I love it, love it, you get scared yourself. So you be like. Yeah. That's one thing I do like Imagine about flying. Driving just me. We can barely drive five hours. Driving to New York? We can barely drive five. I would never if I had, if I had to drive to New York, I would never make it. I'm not. Yes, you will. You I'm not. Take, you have to stay up date. Like you have to sleep somewhere. I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. The longest trip I've ever taken in a car was like eight and a half hours when we drove to what you call it? You were with me to Tennessee. Oh my! That gosh. was a long. Y'all drove. Mm-hmm. That was a long drive. That was the longest Dang. drive. What is the longest drive y'all have ever driven? The longest drive I've ever driven was like five hours. But the longest car ride I've ever been in was about eight and a half hours to Tennessee. What? I did New York two times on bus and van. But it didn't so. matter because you was young, so that don't count. Yeah. As an adult, that junk is different. We was brushing our teeth on a bus. That man did not want to stop. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can definitely carry this. Let me see how I'm going to be looking up in the mark. That one is... Let's go, Chelsea. God damn, my plane for the lead. <laughs> but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vloggy vlog. Packed up all my stuff. Getting ready to go to New you York. Had, last time, we had to run to our last plane. Because of you. That, oh, that, that shit happened. Why? Cause you thought it was a joke. That joke was no joke. <laughs> but alright, I'm finna end this vlog for real. See y'all later. I love you so much. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.